The leader of that effort is Tennessee Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn, who joins me right now. Well, thank goodness for you on so many different uh, fronts. Uh, it, Americans, perhaps, you know, we feel that you know, we're, we're moving on with our lives. Uh, we've got uh, some lifting of certain mandates, like mask mandates, et cetera. And yet there's this hanging on. And at its time, Senator, when the world is effectively kind of slouching into war, uh, we are now still looking at uh, separating or punishing some of our troops for not getting the vaccine. What will your legislation do to, to stop that? Tammy, my legislation would prohibit any taxpayer funds from being used to enforce this mandate. This mandate is about Joe Biden trying to take control over your lives. He wants a forever pandemic, and it is absurd that he would fire 40,000 members of the National Guard. And thank goodness our governor in Tennessee, Governor Bill Lee, has granted the exemptions for religious and medical reasons to 800 of our members of the Guard that have been affected by those exemptions. Uh, but they have to wait on the National Guard Bureau to make their decision. And of course, they, here's the deal. The Guard Bureau, the Department of Defense, DOD, they've got a choice in front of them. They can fulfill their mission, which is to protect and defend. Right. They can choose freedom or they can go totally woke like they have been doing. They have spent five million eight hundred and eighty nine thousand military man hours on initiatives like climate diversity equity inclusion this woke agenda so they can stand for freedom and fulfill their mission or they can do joe biden's bidding yeah this is shocking because we're now dealing with a crisis of legitimacy of the government as Americans are looking funny at uh, institutions as they remain under attack, that they don't seem to be doing their job. We see the military, as you've noted, go woke. And then we've got, you know, the attitudes, the, the chaos that has been brought to our country. We have these, this new poll of Americans not being proud of the country anymore. And we, we, we're sending more troops uh, to Europe. Uh, we're dealing with Ukraine, et cetera. North Korea is not settled down. China is you know looking to eat us for lunch and you know it's hard enough to get people to join our volunteer military but to cut tens of thousands of those who've chosen to serve almost seems like a deliberate effort to undermine us am i going too far with that no you are not going too far for that and i had a tennessean ask me about this very thing the other day when I was in one of our counties and tell me, they say, you know, if I didn't know better, I would think that this is intentional. When you look at the border policy, when you look at what is happening with fentanyl that is ravaging families and taking precious young lives in our country, when you look how it appears that Joe Biden is doing his best to lose the next war, you look at Afghanistan, you look at Ukraine, you look at what we're facing with the Chinese Communist Party. You look at what he has done to the U.S. energy sector. When you have our G7 partners, when you have our NATO allies asking us to help them yeah. with energy, and he wants to go meet with the Saudis <laughs> and not meet with the U.S. oil companies. Remarkable. And he could find a solution to this. It is, it is remarkable. Even, you know, as they say, even a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> So you have to really work hard to not be right at any point. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. Thank you, you for, for your work.